uh, on the need for the central bank governor to review the cashless policy and extend the time frame for the currency swap. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but, I mean, we're in a rush. I don't understand. Nigerians are still asking, why this rush? The timing is very wrong. We're hitting election campaign, which the law, the INEC law, agrees that uh, uh, those, are, those that are participating in the process, there is a limited amount of they can spend. The, the president, they say he can spend uh, up to about some billions, then the governor can spend up to one billion, the Senate can spend up to about 100 million, the House of... Where, where is this money? And largely what we do is, 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 uh, is, is cash. And look at the macroeconomic uh, activities of this country, starting from uh, Yenogoa, then down to Alugungu and Benin Kebi. Most of our markets, most of our petty trading is cash. H how do people go about that? And you can see it in the page, on the pages of newspapers and uh, some, some trading out outfits, some traders are rejecting old notes because if you have a turnover of 200,000 in a day, and then they are giving you old notes. Well, how much time do you have to deposit it? With CBN to meet with an ad hoc committee of this honorable house tomorrow. So we know the situation our people are. And now CBN is bringing policy that is going to affect us. The policies are good. There is nothing wrong in changing currency. There is nothing wrong in swapping currency. There is nothing wrong in introducing cashless policy. But it doesn't have to be forced out of people. There is nothing wrong in doing it on faces. There is nothing wrong in facing it out. But you shouldn't force it out. I hope you got what I'm saying. So this is our position. Our position is let it be extended to at least six months for people to be able to change their currency or to deposit the available funds they have in their various bank accounts. And for those that are, were not included, for those that are not part of the financial inclusion, may have the opportunity to be enlightened to go and open bank accounts. Because now, if at random... I economic impact of uh, rejecting the, the legal tender is there will be an economic decline. And that's what we are trying to run away, instead of trying to make it, uh, make the economy active and then it is declining because, one, people are rejecting illegal tender. We'll, we'll set up a, a, a another committee under the leadership of the House leader for, to meet with the operators tomorrow and then subsequently with CBN. So, uh,